I never realized how alien looking the end is in Minecraft. I wonder what it would look like if it was an underwater dimension. Ooh, now I'm gonna have to build it to find out. Finally, an excuse to spice up my main end island. This is what I'm gonna do. First, I'll build a giant glass wall along the circle of the obsidian towers. Then in the middle, right on top of the portal, underwater end city. We had a couple of scary deep sea fish, some coral, seaweed, mobs, a big bad poop. We have our own little underwater end dimension. So the first thing I had to do was go to a nearby desert for a total of 18,788 sand blocks. Yeah, uh, that's 11 full shulker boxes, by the way. Well, here we go. This is what I'll be doing for the next 24 hours. So I went completely ham and destroyed the desert. And after some quality AFK time, we got glass for days, baby. Bro, capturing all the mobs was a horrible idea. My base is completely useless right now. Anytime I get close to my chests, I immediately get mining fatigued. Luckily, I have milk chest. I want that glass back. And I need to get the f*** out of it. No, bro, this is exactly what I mean. Never mind, I'll just keep the glass here and take a milk bucket with me, dude. All right, now the first thing I need to do here is build a giant circle along all of these towers. I do be kind of hoping that the end is the same size in every world because i already have a circle planned out but it was designed in a different end dimension but hey it seems like it's all lining up here as well bro it's perfect look at that it's absolutely perfect let me build up real quick and there we go 77 blocks high this is how high i have to build all the walls bruh this is gonna be horrible let me just start over here real quick wait can enderman see me through glass i mean it's pretty much a solid block right yeah yeah a solid block blah 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 let's get working on these walls yo the first quarter is done let's take a look oh yeah that do be looking pretty good i do think i'm gonna connect all the obsidian towers with uh, a wall along the bottom which means i need to mine a whole lot of obsidian but i think that'll be pretty cool anyway first i gotta finish these walls which in total ended up taking about three hours Oh yeah, we're at the last tiny gap of the wall. After this, I don't have to place glass anymore. This is amazing. Hey, yo, look at it. That's, uh, that's pretty insane, dude. And I still have pretty much a full shulker box of glass left over. So if I do have to build it taller, we got the glass for that. I quickly connected all the towers with an obsidian wall. And now it was finally time for the fun stuff. Underwater end city, baby. So you know how regular end cities are made from end stone and purple blocks? Yeah, well, we make an underwater end city. So I'm gonna use a whole bunch of prismarine. And I wanna switch that off with like cracked stone bricks and mussy stone bricks. Maybe even a little bit of cobble stone but if i want to stock up on mossy stone i'm gonna need a whole bunch of fines so with that objective in mind i headed out to the jungle all right 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 give me those fines Okay, I got about six or seven stacks right now. And all the mobs over here are actually starting to become pretty annoying. So I'm getting out of here, man. I just realized how much prismarine this is actually gonna cost. There is a small chance I might need to get myself some extra, dude. Does it look like an end city yet? Here, if I do this, you're almost not gonna recognize it. It's absolutely crazy. All of the sudden, it's an end city. Look at it. <laughs> Let me make the main tower real quick. It's gonna be epic, okay? Trust me, bro. Now I gotta make those little bridge thingies on the side, which is going to be a little bit more complicated, but I'll figure it out. Wait, how is the bridge looking so far? Oh god, that's looking... <laughs> that isn't looking very great. Three, four, five. Yeah, one, two... No! Hey, yo, why all of the sudden teleport on the bridge, man? Literally five minutes ago that I accidentally aggroed him, attacks me randomly when I start building again. You know what? I think the end city is starting to look pretty dope. I did, however, run out of prismarine halfway through, so I had to give my drained monument another visit. Please tell me there's still blocks on the inside of this thing. Did I fully clear it out? I don't remember fully clearing it out, dude. Yes, yes. It's actually crazy how big ocean monuments are on the inside. I mean, look at it. Small the huge 
Okay, we almost have 10 stacks, which means we should be good now. So let's finish up that end city real quick. Yeah, no, definitely made a miscalculation because I had to go back a second time for even more Prismarine. However, after a couple hours of building, that's the first structure done. And not gonna lie, man, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. When I started, I didn't really know if it was gonna work with the Prismarine blocks. But you know what? I'm gonna just go out and say it. I think it works. The next thing I wanna build is one of those ships that you usually have at end cities but this time it's not gonna be a flying ship it's gonna be a shipwreck i was going for that zero death gameplay man this is this is very unnecessary of you was just trying to explain i want to build a shipwreck you might not really notice it because they're usually quite high in the air but these motherfuckers are pretty big dude i was actually surprised when i looked into it i thought these things were tiny anyway it's gonna be a shipwreck so half of it is gonna be underground this is the area where usually the ender dragon head is This is exactly what I mean. Bro, this is only the front area of the boat. There's still like this big square on the back. Look at how big it already is. The mast usually goes over here, but I want to have it half broken off. So, does it look like a mast? Bro, it doesn't look like a mast at all. It's like a little staircase or something. Okay, you know what? New plan. What if it's just laying over here like this? Um... Yeah, bro. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, that sort of looks like a broken mast, right? Now, only the back part of the ship, which I ended up changing halfway through since I felt like the ship became too long. Shipwreck completed. Speaking of shipwrecks, let's build a regular one as well. But then somewhere over here, since this area is still pretty empty. I'm gonna need a whole bunch of spruce and oak. Okay, so I'm thinking we build like a shipwreck coming out of this obsidian pillar or something. Maybe I could try to build one of those sideways laying shipwrecks. Uh, is that starting to look like a shipwreck already? <laughs> <laughs> this one was very difficult. For some reason, my brain couldn't process that the ship was laying sideways. But after some trial and error, wow, very, very beautiful. We got two shipwrecks right now, so we're almost done with all the structures. I only want to add one more small little thing, which is one of those underwater ruins. So let's build the first one right over here. I think it's pretty much just something like this. Maybe it's a little bit too intact. Usually they are like, well, actual ruins. How does that look? Ah, oh, no. And then another one over here. But this one is gonna be in the ground a little bit. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Wouldn't change a thing. I mean, it's pretty much just random blocks scattered around. But that's exactly what I'm trying to go for. So it's a big W. And that also means we're officially done with all the structures. I do still have this big open area with nothing over here. But that's because I have some other plans in mind with this area. So you know how like some of those deep sea fish are very scary and alien looking? Yeah, well, that's exactly what I'm trying to build over here i'm talking angler fish goblin shark japanese spider crab those are the kind of mobs i want to be building and for that we're going to need a whole bunch of new items and back to the end portal we go let's start right over here with an angler fish i will make myself a little bit of platform i think it's easiest if i start at the mouth which is going to be right over here and then this will be the upper jaw oh okay i mean that sort of looks like a mouth right i'm afraid i need to make a little confession too um, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but I mean, it's uh, it's starting to sort of look like a fish. Bro, he's way too fat, isn't he? I don't know, man. Wait, let me work on the head real quick. So his mouth is here, right? So there should be an eye over there. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Suddenly it's an angler fish. Holy shit. There we have it. Maybe some slabs over here. <laughs> oh, no. What have I created? What the f*** is this? <laughs> oh, no. What a beauty. What an absolute beauty. I mean, not gonna lie, it does look like an anglerfish, right? You know what? I think I nailed it. She ain't pretty, but she does look like an anglerfish. Next on the list is Goblin Shark. Might even be harder, but there's only one way to find out. Need some stairs, need some slabs. Should be pretty much everything I need. Okay, since the anglerfish is over there, I'm gonna make the shark somewhere over here, in this corner. Alright, this is pretty good. I shouldn't go too high, since, um, well, it's a little bit unrealistic if it's halfway up out of the water, isn't it? No, I think I've built it too close to the glass. Didn't know it was gonna turn out this big, dude. Uh, this is the solution I've made so far. <laughs> 
Homie has a bit of a scoliosis going on. And there we have him. That is one beautiful shark. From under, he do be looking kind of chunky. But we love him, okay? I don't want to hear anything about it. Now, there's only one last mob that I want to build. And that's the Japanese spider crab. For which I'm going to need a whole bunch of terracotta, I think. And let's go. We got terracotta. We got quartz. This is going to be a hard one, boys. Not going to lie. I'm going to start off with the legs. This is, by the way, the photo I'm using for reference. Should be doable, right? How do it be looking? I mean, if you compare it to the reference photo, it's not bad, dude. All right, that's the second leg. I must say, looking very, very good. And then we put the third leg over here. But this one should go inward a little bit. Ooh, this third leg kind of freaky looking. Oh, shit, I'm just realizing that I might have built it too close to the obsidian wall. Um, I don't know, man. I'm not gonna start over. We'll see if it fits. Let's say the crab body is three blocks long. Then I need to make exactly the same legs at this side no it's one block off hey i'm breaking the obsidian man i'm doing it and one two three boom it fits perfectly yeah look at that dude. it's a perfect fit now by far the smartest thing i could do right now is just rebuild it a little bit more over there but i'm not gonna do that no 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 ladies and gentlemen i'm saying we keep the crab wait it's two blocks lower over there oh hold on a minute that changes that, that changes everything a little bit where can i yoink and stone from Ooh, little island over here perfectly set place to yoink a little bit of end stone from all right more than enough end stone and look at how glorious this all is looking yeah i'm gonna just fill this up real quick because otherwise the spider legs don't really um they don't really work out properly even if i fix this they're still gonna be longer on one side than the other side but it's only by one block and otherwise it had to be by two blocks yeah it's kind of coming together dude it do be looking like a big fat spider right now but as soon as he has his claws it's gonna be a crab Oh, no, he's way too cute. This is supposed to look like a scary deep sea creature. Bro, look at him. <laughs> Let's try to give him claws. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Japanese spider crab. And if you look at him in the eyes, he might look a little bit too cute. But I mean, from above here, that looks kind of freaky. Let's actually see what everything is looking like from afar right now. Ooh, yeah, it's starting to fill up pretty nicely, man. And since everything I wanted to make is done right now, it's almost time to fill this bad boy up with water. The only thing left to do is change the floor. I mean, once it's filled up with water, we're still not done. But we definitely are getting close. I unfortunately don't seem to have a lot of clay but i mean shouldn't be too hard i have silk touch pickaxe and everything oh look at that bunch of clay over here <laughs> let's start mining away after this i can fill everything up with water though that's gonna be exciting and then we only do the last finishing touches and it's done and with that motivation in mind i started working on the floor until i ran out of sand and here we are again, back at the desert. My big boy auto smelter still over here as well. And it's still kind of going. Bro, there's still a little bit of sand in here. That's exactly what I need right now. No, 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 no. They're all walking around with sand and gravel. No, and now they're doing it over here as well. I hate Enderman. I absolutely hate Enderman. That's like the first 20% done. But look at all these Enderman absolutely vandalizing my work over here. Shameless. Completely shameless. And so a race against the clock started. I had to quickly replace the floor before the Enderman ruined everything. Ah, uh, I gotta get water in here as soon as possible. These Enderman ain't got no chill, dude. All right, I'll just build a big platform on top of the aquarium. And then we can easily fill all of that up with water. Remove the bottom. And bada bing, bada bong, all of a sudden everything is filled with water. Ooh, let's go. Ow. And here we go. It's kind of a race against the clock right now. I mean, they're all just straight up grieving down there. So the sooner I can get water in here, the better. Luckily, I'm somewhat of a professional speed breacher. I mean, look at this. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen someone place dirt blocks down at this space? It's crazy. Crazy. No, 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 no. They're spawning here as well. This is a huge problem. I'm pretty sure they can pick up dirt blocks as well. And the last few blocks. 
boom. And there we go. It's ready to be filled up with water right now. But before I do that, I have a little idea. Because my shuffle and my elytra do be kind of getting low on durability. So I'm gonna just equip both of them. And let's trigger every single Enderman out there. Oh yeah, this is payback, man. This is pure payback. Okay, well, that pretty much did nothing. Since they all teleport away right before dying. But you know what? I'll fix it later. Let me get a little bit of an infinite water source over here. Mm -hmm. Wait, is there a faster way of doing this? What if I just go through the middle? Because right now I'm filling everything up at the corners. Ooh, it is working. I mean, all of this is already source blocks. So I went around the entire circle. And there we go, boys. It's fully filled with water. Besides this one block over here. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bro, 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 bro. Hey, I'm out of here. Goodbye, losers. I'm pretty sure I still have a whole bunch of XP bottles somewhere from trading with villagers. Shuffle is in my left hand. I still have my elytra on as well. Let's go. Hey, I don't think they're aggroed anymore. However, they are still completely vandalizing everything. So no waiting around. Ooh, we gotta drop the water down. I've mined away quite a lot already. Let's take a look what it looks like. Oh, yeah. It's all going on the water. Oh, no. I just realized that I have to waterlock every single slab and stair I placed. And I used quite a lot of those, dude. And all the blocks are gone. Hell, yeah. Oh, God. It's so dark as soon as you go on the water. And it's time to waterlock everything. That sounds like a lot of work. Hey, yo. There's still a couple of surviving Enderman down here. Fully filled the inventory with water buckets again and let's go dude and after hours of water logging everything it was time to repair the floor hey yo, it's actually crazy how much damage those enderman did i've already been at it for like 10 minutes and we're not even almost done there's just so many sand blocks randomly scattered around everywhere i think that should be pretty much it Ooh still a little bit of exposed endstone over here, which means I'm gonna have to get some shulker boxes and start collecting a whole bunch of stuff. I'm talking tropical fish, coral, kelp, seagrass, those little underwater cucumber things. Now we go back to the desert one last time. Okay, I'm pretty much gonna need anything I can yoink from here. And while we're here, I should also study how the coral is built, because it's all these like different random shapes and all that. Ayo, I always thought coral emitted light as well. But it's literally only the sea cucumbers. There's, by the way, no kelp over here. Gonna need a lot of that too. Hello there, pufferfish. Do you want to be friends with me? Yes, 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 yes. Let me just grab one and two of these guys as well. And back to breaking coral. Okay, first shulker box is full. Boom. Oh, yeah. Hey, have we already caught this tropical fish? I have no idea. I'm gonna just grab two of them. Couple of these guys. Mm-hmm. It's time we go back to the end. Be free, my friends. Trust me, bro. You're gonna love it in here. This is my first little coral plant over here. Then next to it, a little blue blob. Very, very beautiful, if I may say so myself. And then over here, a big pink one. Wait, really? Apparently, you gotta waterlog the sea pickle before it emits light. Hey, man, that's rigged. I've been waterlogging for hours. Oh, well, it is what it is. Is. Anyway, let's place all the coral. All right, all right, all right. That should be all of it. Now, let's see what that looks like. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Now, let's take a look with the invisible glass texture pack. Oh, yeah, that's even better. Now, the last finishing touches. And boom, it's finally done. My biggest project ever. And oi, 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 it's looking pretty good. Want to see more of these kind of videos? I recommend watching this one. Very epic video, if I may say so myself. And don't forget to subscribe.